Hey everybody, it's Mark again. And while I was visiting a friend, he gave me this homemade tool. Somebody made it. It's adjustable. And why I was sitting around because I can't sleep. I was thinking about this tool and what I could do with it. And this is what I think I could do with it. You know how you have a clock and you want to test it without putting a stupid thing. Uh, you have a clock movement and you want to test it without putting it back into its case well I think that I could Put some chains on this thing. Put a weight, some weights on this thing. Drill a hole or modify this thing so it sits on my table like this. If I was to put a couple of two by fours at the end here, bolt a two by four here, bolt a two by four here. That way it sits on my table out here like this. Put some uh, chains and weight on it, and I think that I could use this to test movements without putting them back into the case. I don't know who made this, but I think it's a pretty cool ideal. You could also use this if you were to be if you were needing to put bushings in a clock now of course you would want to um, uh, put something underneath to hold the um, movement Such as a couple of sockets like this put together to uh, hold the movement as you are drilling. You know, this is for people like myself who don't want to spend several thousand dollars on a KNW or Birchin uh, bushing machine who, who, uh, still put bushings in by hand you could use something like that you have to imagine that the only thing here is a clock movement plate either the top plate or the bottom plate you could use this thing to hold your plates while you're putting bushings in the plates but I think it would, it's a better ideal. I could use it for that also. But I think it's a better ideal to test movements out prior to putting them back into the clock case. I think that is a terrific ideal. What do you all think? Um... Again, I don't know how who designed it. I don't know where it came from. He, I'm pretty sure somebody gave it to him or he bought it. It was in a, a box or something when he went to a, a clock auction or a, one of his local chapter meetings. But thank you, Ron Rosencrantz. For my...
stand. Let me know what y'all think. Leave me some comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Because it's free to give you all this information that I'm giving you. Do you know how much money I spent? When I started collecting clocks back in 1999, we didn't have Facebook and we didn't have YouTube. I watched a VHS tape that I purchased. Yes, a VHS tape for you young kids. It's a video tape that you placed in a VCR and you had to, uh, you didn't have, it wasn't a DVD system where you can skip to the part that you wanted to skip to. You had to press this button called fast forward, or you had to press this button called rewind. And so if you have, that's how movies were this prior to that, they were on eight millimeter tapes, um, beta tapes, uh, look it up, Google it. But I watched a VHS tape because there wasn't no such thing as YouTube and Facebook and Facebook groups to ask questions, to watch videos on demand through YouTube. So what the information I'm giving you is from my experience of screwing up. So um, hit, the, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and wait for more exciting videos. And may God bless each and every one of you.